As Muslims, we're part of this society. We also believe in the issues around homelessness at Christmas. We are here to be beneficial to ourselves and to the communities and the societies that we belong to. So it's not only for Muslims. Demographically, Muslims are a young population. Over half are under the age of 25 and born in the UK. That's a very young population coming to age right now. They're going to make dramatic changes. Education is the best power we have available to be able to educate our communities about the impact of hate on every single one of us. I think it's a rise in certain Certainly hate incidents, hate crimes, and certainly Islamophobia, I think it's, it's a cumulative impact. We have to maximise our effort this year on Islamophobia Awareness Month to dispel the myths, but also to show open solidarity. The Islamophobia Awareness Month, and I hope it's also Islam Awareness Month, because I think that's one of the ways of tackling Islamophobia, is to get to know Islam and get to know Muslims. If we work together and have that tolerance and understanding, uh, we'll be in a much better place. The night is always darkest before the dawn, is the reality. We always say to people, tomorrow is for those who see it coming today. Living with Islamophobia is unacceptable, and we as young people can't be resigned to it. We really do need to take action. It is every Muslim's individual duty to better represent Islam at work, with clients, passengers, patients, diners, customers, guests. More importantly, you need to recognize that you are not just someone who is welcome in the community. You are part of the community. You are the community. It's been an amazing Islamophobia Awareness Month. 200 plus events, 100 plus partners, all united for one cause. We're going to carry on talking about Islamophobia and we hope you will too. Oh Allah, allow us to become beacons of virtue in the lands that we live in. Oh Allah, allow people to see within us and through us a glimmer of the beauty of your faith and do not allow our imperfections to cloud them about the beauty of your faith, oh Allah.